Hi, welcome back. It's Sarah here from So Sarah Style. I know it's been a while, I can only apologise. Um, basically, I have been needed elsewhere for the past few months. Um, so uh, that's meant no very, very little sewing um, and therefore I didn't have anything to vlog about. So I sort of disappeared off the scene for a while. I think going forward, um, it, it again, I don't think I'm going to be a regular vlogger. It's There's just so much um, going on for me at the moment, but I still really want to get back into sewing and I love sharing ideas and makes so um, if it's okay with you I think I'll just be hopping on as and when I've got something to to talk about or something that I've made um, and just keep in touch that way um, I really can't I find it quite hard to commit to weekly vlogs it's a lot of sewing there's a lot of um, editing etc and um, it's just taking up I found it taking up too much time and then having had a break from it altogether um, I think I just need to ease myself back into it slowly so I hope you understand um, anyway I am back today I have as I say I haven't made very much uh, but um, I, I did jump on the nail bandwagon and um, we were going on holiday and I realized that I don't know about you I think the problem is if you sew then well I really don't want to buy things from um, shops because I think well I could make that I've got the fabric I've got the patterns um, but if you haven't got time it's a bit of a problem and you end up with um, nothing <laughs> with no clothes so we were going on holiday and I thought I have no t-shirts luckily the Naya t-shirt by Tammy Handmade stepped in um, this is one of them and um, I had the same colour thread on my overlocker and I whipped up three I'll um, insert pictures of the other two they are it's such a quick make as everybody said and um, it's just a really lovely easy oversized t-shirt so in the weather that we're having at the moment which is really warm I'm just I've got, just got my Naya t-shirts on rotation with a pair of denim shorts um, and, that, and that's it to be honest anyway so here I am today talking about plans for the dressmakers ball this is what has kind of inspired me to get back vlogging again because I have got some ideas that I've had for a while um, to make things for the dressmakers ball and um, as I'm sure a lot of people have found the same thing here we are in September it's kind of like the second week in September and I still haven't made my dressmakers ball dress so while I still have time I want to share with you my ideas and um, plans and I think to be honest I think I've kind of decided which one I'm going to have to make which is the quickest and easiest one um, because I only have a couple of weeks before the ball but I still wanted to share with you my other ideas because one of which I'd, I've had for a long time and I want to get made up and maybe one day I will but um, anyway I'll stop waffling and I'll, I'll get on and share them with you. I've got two weeks basically it's two weeks tomorrow so um, I need to get cracking on making something I have three ideas one of which I have had for probably about five five years and I'm I am really keen to get it made up and I thought oh that'll be it'll be an ideal opportunity to get it made up for the dressmakers ball but I've since gone a little bit cold feet on it I'm going to share it with you anyway because I absolutely love it and at some point in the future it will it will be realized into something um, it's this it's um uh, I love a vintage pattern, as you know, and it's a Poochie from 1969. It's um, a high neck empire waist bodice with probably the biggest culottes anyone's ever going to see. Six metres of fabric. They are absolutely huge. And then it's got um, a zip up the back there. Um, I know this is back to front. I will put a proper picture in. Um, I fell in love with, with this pattern when I saw it on eBay and um, then um, I was lucky enough to find some fabric um, to go with it from pound a meter. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because it's six meters and it is a bit of um, a crazy design. So I found this fabric which I think is, you'll agree, is fairly Poochie-esque. Um, this was, I think it was either £5 or £10 for three metres. So I easily got six metres of this. And um, I've just wanted to make it up for a long time, but never really had the opportunity or the... Um, uh, the event to wear it to but I thought right dressmakers ball I've really annoyed myself because I've kind of left it too late probably I'm going to need to twirl it um, to, to see what the bodice is like it's a size 12 but that's a vintage size 12 so the chances are it's not really going to fit very well so I think I've probably left it a little bit late to do this now uh, if it does work out I've also got my eye on a trim um, because the actual um, 
the pattern has a gorgeous trim around there and around here i've got found one on ebay which i will be ordering if this is a success the main reason that i've gone cold on it apart from the timing is also because six meters of fabric in culottes i'm not the tallest of people at all at five foot three i'm not sure i could get away with six meters swishing around my legs without looking like something from a circus um we will see as I say, it will get made up because I, I just love bringing vintage patterns back to life. And I think it's just too much fun not to have a go. The other or the third issue is that I didn't realise that culottes are actually bias cut, which I guess will help with the drape. And so they won't flap around so much. But the problem is then the bodice will be made this way and then the actual trousers will be kind of on a diagonal i don't know whether that will work or not um because then i was thinking well i could cut the bodice on the bias but i think with the weight of the trousers the bodice will need to be cut um on the straight grain i think anyway that is um idea and plan number one and look how much fabric this is just this is just three meters of it and it's really heavy as well so goodness knows how much six meter dress or uh, is going to weigh so that's number one um number two is a plan that i've been having for a while I, I went to a wedding over the summer and i really really wanted to make a dress for it but again i ran out of, well i didn't have time to do it so that didn't didn't work out i ended up um shock horror buying a dress to wear to the wedding which was lovely it was fine but i really wanted to make my own i have an obsession as you can see behind me with the whole one shoulder thing at the moment there's an amazing designer called i have no idea how to pronounce it i think it's taller talamamo talamamo i will put some pictures in and um it's an italian um fashion house and they just make the most beautiful drapey kaftans one shoulder kaftan i bought this to try and make a kaftan out of it it's um it's a crepe back satin so you could either use the crepe side or you can see it's a bit of a sheen there or the satin side to make a one shoulder glamorous drapey kaftan um i do i do like the ones with feathers on but uh, to be honest I'm not comfortable about buying the feathers I don't know where they're from I'm not sure about using feathers so I would keep mine plain which I think would still look lovely but there again I haven't got the exact pattern for that and that's going to take a bit of kind of jiggery pokery to get that to fit or to get the actual look I want I know it's got they've got a zip at the side but I'm not sure what happens on this side exactly and i haven't found the perfect pattern for that i have bought a few um i'll put them up here a few different patterns one shoulder patterns that i could have a go with but um and i've made a bit of a toile but i haven't I haven't nailed that yet so that's although i'd love to kind of swoosh into the ball in a glamorous you know one shoulder coral kaftan i don't think that's going to happen but that's another thought so number three is probably the front runner at the moment and it is the mood clementine dress which is a free pattern from mood this is a toile behind me um, the mood clementine on the whole most of the, the pictures you see it's a very very sweet um short sleeved puff um a sort of puff gathered top uh, for the summer and it's lovely but I wanted to make it a little bit, add a bit more drama. So um, in this toile here, I've added a long, huge sleeve. And um, I'm thinking of making the, obviously making the skirt full length, but then maybe even having a, a train behind. I know that's gonna be hugely impractical for walking through the streets of Leicester <laughs> and then for dancing. So that may or may not happen. But in my head, I've seen a picture of a dress with a big train and I really think, I th just think it's, it's gorgeous. This obviously is an unfinished toile because the idea is that um, this bit would be fixed up to here. And then that shows a little bit of midriff there if i had a waist like my friend here then absolutely i'd be going for it but unfortunately i don't so mine will be hopefully a smaller gap there when i read the reviews um everybody had said size down because it's incredibly generous so i size down a bit too much it fits it fits um the model here but it's just it's a bit too small for me it only just kind of keeps my boob in really to be honest um so and um 
I've now readjusted the pattern to make it bigger. I also think that it, it's quite nice if you've got it in a drapey fabric to have it slightly bigger so that there are more um, folds in it. Um, so the fabric that I have to make this from is, I'm sorry, it's the least interesting out of the three, but I, st I still think it'll be lovely, is this. It's, um, it's a sort of a sand washed silk it's not silk i don't think i've got six meters of it to play with and it's really really old stash it's well i really have no idea where it came from but i think it drapes beautifully and i do love the color it is me so because there's no zips there's no fastenings it's literally just elastic even though the instructions are a bit dodgy there are enough um there are enough youtube tutorials etc to uh, to hold, hold your hand and get through that that is my that's my plan and i think what well, i think what i will do is i'll make this one anyway so this will be my easy option and then if i have some more time i might have a go at the poochie one and if the poochie one does make me look like a clown at least i've got something that i like to wear so it will be hopefully the mood clementine with added zhuzh and drama so that is um those are my plans for the dressmakers ball i better actually get cracking on with that and i can't wait to go it's good. i think it's going to be so lovely adele um from so serenity went last year and um she said it was amazing and there's quite a few people there that i know this year so i'm really really looking forward to doing something sewing based and with the sewing community again um cannot wait but yeah i had better get on with uh, with sorting all this out and while i've been filming this vlog um, I've never done this before, but I have just had a delivery from Rainbow Fabrics. So bear with me. Excuse the rustling. I've got it. It's literally just arrived. So I'm going to get my scissors and open it live. Um, it was the Rainbow Fabrics. I think it was a half price sale recently. So obviously I did have a quick look. I haven't been buying a huge amount of fabric because I haven't been sewing. So I thought, oh well, I'll treat myself to this. Um, and let's have a look what i've got okay yeah i remember so there's a white cotton poplin which is always very useful that's actually quite a nice feel so what i wanted to do with that is i want to um i want to have in fact i want to make one of these in brown cotton poplin and i haven't really found a brown poplin that i like it's really hard to order online but I think with some dial on dye, potentially, I'm going to leave it for now because we're getting towards the end of summer. Um, but I've got I've got white or I could dye it any colour that I want. So I'm really quite taken with the shape of this. I think it looks lovely. Um, so that's that's actually what that was for. And then I'm kind of obsessed with I am a bit obsessed with brown at the moment. Sorry about the rustling. Um, we have. And I could make my dressmaker's ball, out of, uh, ball gown out of this one, but I'm going to go for the green. We have this viscose satin in a chocolate brown. Again, it's lovely. I'm sorry I'm all about the brown at the moment, which you would think would be a bit strange because my school uniform was brown and uh, you'd think I'd never want to wear it again. But it is it is a lovely colour. So, in fact, that's the exact colour of my school uniform. And um, the final one, again, oh, this is nice. So this has got the rusts and kind of car keys um, and it's this beauty here. Again, a viscose satin. That's really quite heavy. So I think that was a that's a really good deal because considering that was half price, do you know what? I could even make, no, that'd be too much, wouldn't it? One sleeve, train, leopard, no. No, I don't think so. I think I'll save that for something else. But anyway, so those are the three that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. So here we go again. Look, I've started buying fabric. I've started sewing. There's going to be no stopping me now, but um, I'll hopefully get back to you um, next time with um, my... Uh, I won't show you my finished dress, obviously, before the ball, but I'd really like to come back and show you the, um, uh, the some footage of the ball and me and my friends um all in our in our finery and uh, give you a bit of an update then so that'll be in a couple of weeks time um if i don't see you before anyway thank you very much for bearing with me and um, i hope to see you all soon take care bye